Hi everyone, we are back here in Vindia and that this time I'm here with Ginny Mills. Ginny works at the MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas and she has recently been elected as uh, president of Le Cledor, the section for the U.S. And we spent a whole week uh, here in Boston, so she's going to tell us a little bit about um, what are the plans for Le Cledor USA uh, for the future. Hi Ginny, how are you? Wonderful, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Uh, tell us a little bit what we were doing here in Boston this week and what happened. Wonderful. Well, our National Congress of Lake Cleador USA, uh, we convened here in uh, the beautiful and historic city of Boston, uh, Massachusetts, on uh, July 7th, 2011, and for the last several days we have been experiencing and immersed into the culture of the city, uh, which has been fantastic, and learning all of the uh, wonderful dining and, and retail and, and um, again, uh, historic sites of the city. Uh, we also held our national meetings here where we uh, have recently elected uh, four new officers uh, to our board uh, as well as uh, my appointment as the new president. Congratulations. Very Thank you. Uh, and as well as I uh, conducted our, our normal annual uh, business, we also had uh, educational components uh, to our Congress as well. So so how many uh, Le members are in the USA approximately? In the U.S. we have approximately 580 mm -hmm. uh, members currently. Okay. Tell us a little bit how you got involved into being a concierge and into the world of hospitality. <laughs> A uh, very interesting story, actually. Um, I pretty much grew up in the industry. My father was a bell captain for the, the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada for 37 years. So as a little girl, I spent many days uh, playing in the luggage room uh, at the hotel waiting for Dad to finish his tasks. And um, I, So I grew up around the hospitality industry and that was back in the years when there were no concierge in Las Vegas and so in essence the bell captain uh, performed all of the duties that are, are now traditionally the role of the concierge. And um, so I had a, a deep-seated passion. I went away to school uh, on a music scholarship but uh, my heart just pulled me right back into the hotel industry uh, at the end of, uh, in, in, at, during my college years. So I started uh, my first concierge position when I was 19 years old. And that was also at the, which hotel? That actually was at the Mirage Hotel, mm -hmm. which was, uh, that was a pivotal time in uh, the history of, uh, of Las Vegas and what it's become today. The Mirage was the very first themed resort hotel in Las Vegas, um, and it was, uh, something very new uh, to the city and it was also the largest at the time it was being built. Uh, since then the city has continued to evolve. Mm -hmm. um, proud to say that being a part of the MGM Resorts International Corporation, the Mirage is still part of our, our hotel family so I still have a connection to my roots where I started. Great, well, that's a <laughs> nice story. Uh, what is coming up for this section of the USA uh, in the next few months that you want to share with you? With you? Um, well, I wouldn't say necessarily in, in the next few months, but there's a lot on the horizon. It's very a very exciting time. Um, you know, there's so much uh, change with, with the way in which we communicate. Of course, embracing all of the technologies and social media channels that are out there now, um, which really starts to transform the way in which we as an organization stay in touch with each other, which is a big part of who we are and, and how we stay in touch year-round in between these congresses. And, uh, you know, again, without losing sight of, of who we are in our traditions and holding those near and dear, um, and without losing the, the essence of, uh, of Lake Cledor, um, we are embracing technologies and, and uh, fate. we're launching our Facebook uh, page uh, for our members, as well as we have replaced our, what we called our boardroom brief, which was um, the communication from the board of directors to our membership. We've replaced that now with a boardroom blog. So there's certain uh, steps that we're taking to embrace, uh, you know, again, communi new communication and tools. And working on with all the... With right, all the yeah. But yet holding on to our ideals and our traditions at the same time. Okay. Um, well, I know that you guys are coming, uh, having next year the, the event, uh, the annual event in, in London. Uh, how do you see the U.S. participating into that event in January? Well, I'm very excited about the International Congress in London. Um, that will take place at the end of January, uh, this coming January, and I am very hopeful that we'll have a very strong presence uh, from the United States section uh, in London. And uh, immediately there following uh, London, uh, we will be hosting the 17th Pan American Congress 
in my home, or my okay. house, I like to call it, um, the MGM Grand in Las Vegas will be actually hosting the 17th Pan American Congress uh, in Las Vegas, and that will happen uh, in April, just following the International in London. So we have a lot of exciting um, opportunities to network and, um, and uh, spend time uh, in service through friendship with our colleagues from around the world. And a lot of interesting posting to come to your blog and your new yes, Facebook address. Yes. Well, we'll take a note of that and we'll put it on the on the on the article that we write about you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Anything else you want to share with with, with our uh, viewers and just a very heartfelt welcome uh, or thank you. Excuse me. A very heartfelt thank you to the city of Boston for welcoming us with such warmth, such such hospitality and uh, to really showing us uh, what Bostonians are all about. Thank you very, very much. Thank you so much and congratulations again with your new position. Um, well, we'll be in touch. Thank you so much.